Touching. Ready? Oh, this is a heavyweight battle here. It's a slight edge early on for Kieliuszkowski. And now a bobble, and that is a costly mistake as Half Thor dropped the anvil. Brent, that is a costly mistake. Remember, in last year's final, we saw Martins Lietzis drop a safe, which cost him some critical points. We might be seeing the same thing play out here this year with last year's champion. Meantime, Kieliuszkowski. One more object, 300 pound sack, time to beat 39.66. He's not gonna be able to do that. Nevertheless, a nice time for Kieliuszkowski and now Thor with his hands off at 48.17. But you can see the disappointment on his face. And quite frankly, Kieliuszkowski was a little bit disappointed as well. But he will finish second place in the loading race in 42.11. Half Thor, a disappointing seventh in a time of 48.17. And it was that costly bobble on the transition to the anvil that was clearly the turning point in this event for Half Thor, which made way for the strong finish by the Polish Punisher. Representing Great Britain. But the story Stop. is Tom Stop. Stolman wins the first event in his first ever World Strongest Man final. 39 66. Kieliuszkowski takes second, 42.11. Martins lead season third. The two former champs, Bjornsson and Shaw, take seventh and eighth, respectively. Here's Jenny Dell. After the break, the overhead press. With 60 seconds on the clock, our strongmen will work their way through four implements. We got the double dumbbells with 125 pounds each. The monster dumbbell, 220 pounds. This barbell, 345 pounds. And last but not least, the heaviest, the log at 375 pounds. For each object, knees must be locked, arms fully extended. Who will press their way to the top? Find out next at the Tachi Palace World's Strongest Man. The squat lift. Well, Brent, you don't get yourself to the squat lift by skipping leg day, but this one's going to test our strongmen here because they're going to be asked to lift a 750-pound squat bar. The most reps in the 75-second time limit wins. Four athletes have already competed. First up was Great Britain's Adam Bishop, and he managed to set the mark with five reps. Then the man from Scotland, Luke Stoltman, also managing to get five. The American Trey Mitchell, he was able to beat the Brits with six reps. And a veteran from Canada, J.F. Carone, taking the lead with seven reps. 